Number three, functional components, BIM-ready models. Parametric BIM-ready cells. Parametric cells allow you to use the constraints, variables, and variants that are created and leverage them during cell placement over and over again. Rather than just adjust each variable, these can be included in a parametric cell as a variant. Let's take a look at BIM-ready cells in the MicroStation Connect Edition. I'll pick the girder, which is a cell, and note that it has an incorrect size and length. It's pretty evident in the section view that it's not the right height. I'll adjust its variation, the variation of the parametric cell, to G63. And I'll set the length to be 110. You can repurpose and add more value to your models. These parametric models can easily be leveraged first as cells and parametric cells, allowing you to place, for example, another peer. In this case, I'll start with a parametric cell. I'll set the variation to type 1, and I'll adjust some of the variables. Note that it's the same basic geometry with different variables which drive the geometry. Another example is component center. That parametric model can be pushed up to a cloud-based digital component library and catalog management service. You get to choose from approved content, the geometry itself and the data associated with the components, as well as reference files and URLs are stored in the component center and they're available for use in all phases of a component's life cycle. Compare Component Center to BIM 360. BIM 360 is a separate product with a separate cost, as opposed to Component Center being included in Select. Component Center can include things like item types, variables, variants, all part of the component and include things like PDFs or images or URLs. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.